after the rain, we had a flood, like almost a feet of water. Carpeting, wall to wall, got all damaged. We had to take everything out. Elvira Mostarlik showed us the aftermath of recent flooding in her Rose Court home in Albany and the damage her insurance company would not pay for. And in fact, lots of homeowners on Rose Court and on other streets around the city of Albany are all too familiar with the messy, expensive, and pain in the neck floodwaters in the street and in their homes. It's just, it, it's been pretty dramatic. Any of the storms that we've had, we've had a lot of water. But the city now says it has what could be a solution. First and foremost, I said, we need to keep the water out of their basements. Mayor Jennings wants the public to know a $750,000 project, which is starting on Rose Court, could be an answer to the swirling waters that collect on city streets and pour to homes after a big rain. Huge machines were on site Wednesday, making room for huge flood water retainer basins that will go underground. These 15-ton cement containers can hold 30,000 gallons of water, and they're putting three of these here on Rose Court alone. But even with all of this, they can't guarantee homeowners that they will be totally flood-free. I'd love to say that, but I certainly can't say that. So far, over 200 homeowners in Albany have applied for the $1,500 back valve grants that have been successful in stopping seepage. For Elvira, this new project is a welcome intrusion on her block. It's good. Let's just hope it works. <laughs> Ken Screven, CBS 6 News, Albany.